everyone. Oh my gosh. Hello? Okay. Hello everyone, Eureka Forsyth here, and today I'll be playing uh, the visual... Oh my gosh. <laughs> the, the visual novel Blooming Panic. Um, I was really excited to play this when I first uh, encountered it on my Twitter. I saw like a fan art of I think XYX and um, I think the other person was Night Owl. Um, I can't remember, but I know uh, one of the people within the Pierce the Fan Art was XYX, and I was really intrigued by that. So I looked it up and came about this game. And here we are. Uh, how is everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, just a little tired, but I have some tea, jasmine tea, and water, of course. I only just found out recently that uh, tea dehydrates you when you drink it, so the water is there to keep me hydrated, um, kind of balancing the tea as well. But the tea will wake me up, hopefully with the caffeine in it too. Anyway, um, without further ado, I will quickly just read like the description, uh, synopsis, of uh, Bleh, sorry, <laughs> the synopsis of Blooming Panic and go through the short files of each of the four uh, cast members in the main cast. So let us begin. Uh, let me know if um, the volume is good for my mic and also the background and the audio for the game as well. I would greatly appreciate that. But without further ado, let's get to it. So, um, Blooming Panic, uh, the bio would be, I mean the description, is depressed day in and day out from a draining corporate job, you become invested in a fantasy web novel and find a mysterious link to a fan server. Everyone is warm and welcoming, but four members take a special interest in you. And then, here we have you can uh, look at all of this through my link in the description that will bring you to Robo Barbie's um, itch page. But here we go. Um, Night Owl. The grad student Night Owl is a big tease with an even bigger exam coming up, but he won't let that get in the way of him keeping you up as late as possible. Age 25, height 5'7, and his quote is, You're too sweet sometimes. Makes me want to keep you all to myself. And then next is Quest. Uh, the moderator Quest was the first member of the fan server. He's a little shy and private about his past, but with your help, he may start to open up. Um, his age is 28. He's six, six feet. And his quote is, I'm worried if we keep topping that I won't want to stop, so we should break for the night. And then we have XYX, uh, the server troll XYX decides that you might be quite fun to mess around with. Will you join him on his quest to create chaos in the server? Uh, his age is 29, height 6'1, and his quote is, You for one have... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you for one have been an excellent text... Text? Oh my gosh. Uh, you for one have been an excellent test subject. And then last but not least is Naked Toaster. Um, I will I, I will t talk about my opinions of each of them after I read this as well. Um, um, Naked Toaster and the ex uh, the FF14 enjoyer Naked Toaster, typically sarcastic and aloof, finds himself flustered over and over again by you. Will you help him sort out these new feelings? Age 29, height 6'4, and this quote is uh, I, uh, that just slipped out. I don't know why I said that. Ignore that. And, yeah, uh, here are my, <laughs> I guess I can just talk about, like, my, uh, initial impressions of each. So, Night Owl, um, I was incredibly intrigued by this guy right away because, um, he, <laughs> He kind of looks like how I looked when I was also going through um, school as a grad student for my master's program uh, not too long ago. 
and him <laughs> with his very charming eye bags is probably how I looked um, back then as well, which is really typical of the grad student life basically. Um, I remember I only slept at most like four hours and like least would be like one to two hours or like even less than that on like worse days. Yeah, it was um, certainly a time in my life, but we don't have to get into that right now. But I can tell that he's going to be incredibly relatable with um, his situation. And I like him. I think he's really cute. I listened to- I also listened. I watched the trailer for the game as well, and um, he has a very nice voice. I like his voice. So I'm excited to go through his route. Um, quest? Uh, I feel like he might be either exactly as you like see him to be a very, he seems like a very chill and sweet guy, um, if I have to be honest, just a little bit boring, a little basic, but maybe there will be like a surprise or a twist of him, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, XYX, I guess? You could say he is kind of the reason why I got interested in this game because <laughs> because of the fan art I, I saw of him. Um, yeah, he seems like a really funny guy. Um, I like his piercings, very bold eyebrows. Um, I'm very very interested in seeing what his route is as well. Even though he seems like he's more of like um, an optional route compared to like. Uh, Owl and Quest. Even though you can forego both of these routes, but it's also said to not be really recommended. But yeah, I'm, I'm still pretty interested uh, by his route as well. Um, he <laughs> he has like that filter that that makes your voice like you, you sound like I don't, is it is it the guy from like V for Vendetta or something like. Just, you know, the, the mask, that one mask, and with like the really deep, exaggerated voice those, um, the filter uses for those. I, I hope he doesn't talk like that <laughs> through, throughout his whole route, but we'll see. Um, last but not least, Naked Toaster. <sighs> okay, I thought I was going to react, um, like this for Night Owl, although I really, really like Night Owl, um, but... Right away, um, the first impression I saw of this guy, I was like, okay, he looks kind of elfish. I'm like, I was like, kind of reminds me of a certain white-haired dragoon from FF14. Um, if you know, you know. Um, and, I, and then like right away when I read his like, I was it was like blind, a blind read. Um, reading his like short bio, I literally yelled out loud because I was like, "Oh my god, he he's he's definitely <laughs> he's definitely heavily inspired by that one certain NPC character." So I was just like, "Okay, I think I'm going to enjoy this guy's root the best." But we will see. He's also the true root, so that just makes it even more sweeter that he's supposed to be the last one. Um, I think this is also this game feels like it was also very heavily inspired by Mystic Messenger, which is like um, this dating sim, uh, you like app that you would play on your phone, specifically on your phone because the characters would like call you by phone as well. So that's really exciting. There's like a call um, call call mechanic included within this game so I'm really excited to see how that's going to be integrated in this with like um, basically this game's version of like discord pretty much so it's gonna be really fun so um, I guess yeah we can we can just begin yes um, I finished reading the bios uh, I'll keep it open in my browser just in case if I need to look at references and stuff but I guess uh, for now, I will leave it be. So let me switch my screen to um, my C 
scene page. Okay. I think, yeah, I had it muted. Whoops. Let me change that really quick. Um, I got really, I, this is, this seems like it would be good. So yeah, um, hopefully that's fine for the music. Uh, I was really surprised <laughs> that the, um, there's actually like, I think multiple songs. I don't know how many songs, but there are a few songs where like the characters, the, the voice actors sing, which is really neat. But right now this is like some uh, typical background game music. Um, yeah, I'll stop, um, I'll stop stalling and let's, uh, let me turn up my volume actually on my end. Hopefully everything sounds fine. I, uh, please let me know if, um, it sounds fine for you, uh, whether I sound too loud or too soft and, um, whether the audio in the... <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted by the the music. Um, um, but yeah. Um, oh my god, I lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, just let me know if um, I sound okay, and if the game and audio in general sounds okay. Okay, we need to start because this music is really distracting. Okay, let's start. Okay. Lola was sure everyone in the building could hear her heart pounding as she yanked the blind shut. She briefly considered calling Xander, but stopped short of picking up her phone. No, this was something she. Sh oh, no, this was something she would have to go through alone. As the shocks rattled through her body, all Lola could do was panic. Was she going to change in a way she liked? Would Xander still like her? Would she become a completely different person? Like it or not, Lola was about to find out. She sat down on her bed and took a deep breath. Lola 2.0, here I come. Another chapter done. You lean back in your creaky chair and sigh. The next chapter will be the last one. You can feel it. This convoluted story will be coming to a close. The end of blooming panic. Oh. For three years, you've been a devoted reader as you follow the story of Lola, a girl trying to finish. Oh my goodness, <laughs> a girl trying to finish college while contending with a magical transformation. Cute. The final transformation. It's definite. The final transformation. It's definitely going to be in the upcoming chapter. But part of you doesn't want that chapter to come out. Your chest feels tight when you finish. Oh. Your chest feels tight when you imagine the story ending. Sorry, just taking a sip of tea. Um, you've grown, oh my gosh. You've grown attached to not just to Lola, but to the rest of the cast as well. Her suitors, Damien, Nathaniel, and Xander. Okay. Her friends, Celeste and Lydia. Even her mean girl rival, Sable. She's cute. It's hard to imagine saying goodbye to them so soon. Oh, a text from your boss. He wants you to come into work at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, man. You toss your phone on your bed and turn back to the computer. Oh, jeez, Louise. Uh, you toss your phone on your bed and turn back to the computer screen. You don't want to think about tomorrow morning. Reports, presentations, and number crunching all await you bright and early. You'll be lucky if you can sneak a cup of coffee. As you aimlessly browse, you'll come across a single tweet from a brand new Twitter account with an invite link to a Discord server. It looks like a fan server for Blooming Panic. Wait, is that a Discord server? It looks like a download for an entirely different program. Your mouse cursor hesitates over the URL. You want to click it. It's your boss again. No doubt he's sending you an itinerary of your... Ooh. No doubt he's sending you an itinerary for your sunrise arrival. 
You glance at your other open window with the web novel text pulled up to Lola's end of chapter monologue. <clears throat> Sorry. The thought crosses your mind again. This will all be over soon. You, your fingers tighten on the mouse. You click. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Welcome to the Blooming Pandic. I've become a monster? Official server. We're so happy to welcome another fan. What will your username be? Uh, I guess I'll just put down my name. As a Rika, I suppose. Rika? Speed. Boomba. Awesome! Nice to meet you, Eureka. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I am under the section called Lola's Adoring Fans. Okay. Your pronoun, she, her. Thank you. Usually we let new users select a flair for themselves. But our Lola doesn't have anyone with her flair right now, so you'll be receiving hers. Next, do you promise to be a generally good person in the server? Yes. Thank you! You now have access to several channels in the server. Would you like an explanation of how the server works? Uh, yes, please. Okay. On the left, you'll see four categories. Server info, blooming panic, other things, and the lounge. Server info contains the rules... Uh... The rules conversations conversation here that only you can see, as well as the uh, hashtag bot request channel. In that channel, you can type several commands, play a song to change the music playing, backstory, character name to get the backstory for a character, slash catch me up to get a brief summary of the story so far, or help, or slash help to see the complete list of commands. Uh, feel free to go to that channel now and use the slash help command now to see the full list of available options. Woman Panic hosts all things related to the web novel, latest, oh, geez, latest chapters, story discussion, and fan art. For anything else unrelated to the story, those can be found in other things. You can talk about pretty much anything in those channels. Lastly, our video call space can be found in the lounge. Uh, you can't look at any chats while you are in a call, so be sure that you only join a call when you are ready. Well, that should be everything. As stated before, you now have access to the rest of the ser- Ooh, jeez. As stated before, you now have access to the rest of the server. Enjoy! Oh, I hear- I'm hearing so many pings. Um, Let's go here first. Whoa! Whoa! That is so much general. Okay, Eureka has joined the server. Okay, I'm trying to think of like, <laughs> what kind of voices I should give these people. Um, I'll just, I'll just read in my regular voice for now, unless something like clicks for me. Why would I lie to you? I've literally never lied in my life. LOL. Sallow. What? Do you honestly believe that you can get to a secret internet by plugging your router into the phone jack? Have you tried it? No! See, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. Everyone, please. We have a new member. What? Oh shit. Welcome. Hello, welcome. Uh, I just need to do the hello, everyone. <laughs> it's like my greeting I usually do for um, my videos and stuff. Hello and welcome, Eureka. Wonderful to have a new person around. Let me know if anyone gives you a hard time. We want you to feel comfortable here. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm, Eureka. Do you want us to call you that or do you have. A nickname. 
Oh, you can call me. I mean, this is basically my name, so. Ooh, am I love my username. <laughs> okay, Eureka it is. Does anyone want to introduce themselves? Me! Hello, I'm Onion. I'm a university student. Bland. <laughs> I'm Night Owl, and I'm a university student as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did- wow. I try to- okay, if I- I'm already thinking too hard already. Oh my goodness. Um... Wow. That's a really nice selfie. But I'll just give a... Hmm, alright. <laughs> I'm almost a university student. Almost. I used to be a student. Look at all of us. The server is too educated. XYX. Hello, hello. I'm June. I'm probably the biggest Blooming Panic super fan. <laughs> it's true. Ha. <laughs> Who's left? Me and Salison? And XYX! LOL, you wish. Hello, I am XYX. I'll do that. Is that it? <laughs> Let's see. Why bother trying? Hello, I am XYX, and I enjoy money. God. Sorry, Eureka. He's always like this. It's quite annoying. Hey, remember that jail role he used to have? Oh yeah! Wait, jail, jail, jail! On what grounds, please? XYX, we're trying to greet someone new. I am greeting her? <sighs> I will not forget this injustice. Uh-huh. Introductions? Yeah! Maybe that was a little bit too loud. Sorry, everyone. You can call me Sallow. I have a lovely wife that I don't after and I'm enjoying my retirement. Salo is the best. Now you, Quest. LMAO. <laughs> I'm the server moderator. Let me know if you ever run into any issues with these people. These people. Wow. You deserve it. <laughs> Wait. If we're going to be posting face pics, does anyone have that really old one of Quest? Huh? Oh, baby. Sec. Wait, that picture. Whoa. <laughs> Oh no! Oh! Wasn't this from a drinking night? I can't believe you saved that. Okay. Wait, can I? Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. What is this? <laughs> I don't. Okay. Um. This one seems like the more nicer of the two. You look like a happy drunk. Sure. Aw, Toasty's offline. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll- I'm sure he'll sh Oh my god. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll show up sooner or later. Lucky he's offline. I post a pic I have of him, but I want to see his embarrassment live. I want to see! So, Eureka, how did you find the server? Oh, I just saw it on a social media site. Classic. Oh, which website was it? Twitter. Huh. Must have missed that post. Me too. <laughs> so, it's a new post then? Do you still have that link? I wouldn't even bother trying to look, dude. <laughs> I was about to say. It's probably already down by now. Is it? Oh, wow. Now that you mention it, it really is gone. That, that That's not fishy at all. Not surprising. Unfortunately true. It's strange, but that's pretty much how we all came here too. A forum post, an old tweet, things like that all disappearing after we click. Huh. Even you, Quest? Yeah. How did you become mod then? I don't know. It just happened to me when I joined. Maybe because you were the first to join? Maybe. Salosin is now offline. Hmm. So Eureka. 
Why'd you look for a server like this? Oh, <laughs> I needed something to stave off the existential dread. Oh man. Hmm. I think I'm thinking way too hard. Can I click? Oh, this is so cool! Jail, Xander, best boy, he, him. Quest. Like, yeah, just a big blooming panic fan. Feels... Feels like I'm walking on a path in a faraway dream. It's an emotion that has never touched me before. Send me all of your Damien fan art. Pain is temporary, wine is eternal. <laughs> Women! I like this lady. <laughs> June 20, the world's biggest blooming panic super fan. I love web novels plus beautiful boys. Send me your headcanons. Those people are really big Xander fans here. No pin, please. Computer science student expected graduation 2020. Those with questionable taste. He, him, they, them. Another they, them. Cool. What is... What is this gonna be? Oh! <laughs> no way! Wait. Wait. Screen capture. This, this is what pops up. Stay strong. Make them wonder how you're still smiling. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let me switch my screen. Oh my god. That's so good. <laughs> okay. Really? Okay. Mm, I'll just say I couldn't sleep, so I just wanted to chat. Ah, I couldn't sleep either. Same here, but... It's because I can't stop thinking about the next chapter. So true. There, there. It'll come out soon. In any case, it's nice to have somebody new on board to craft theories with. Oh wait, check the time. Don't you have class, Onion? Yes, goodbye everyone. Except XYX. <laughs> you wooed me. Um, yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, Salo's gone too. He probably accidentally hit the power button again. Aw, oh, poor Salo. His kids should help him more with all the computer stuff. Oh, is he not very technology savvy? Yeah, he's a little older than the rest of us, so he struggles sometimes. I feel so bad for him. Serve a grandpa! <laughs> Serve a grandpa! So, Eureka! Are you a student? No, I work in finance. Oh! Do you like it? <sighs> Would you like it if you worked 12 hour days? Damn. Sorry to hear that. I appreciate it. I keep my head up though, since things could be worse. Completely agree. That's a pretty good mindset, all things considered. Yeah. Anyway, Eureka, I hope you enjoy your time here. Most of the channels are, are self-explanatory. Hashtag Blooming Panic has the most recent chapter posted at all times to refer back to. Have you read the most recent chapter? Uh... Yes. Nice! 
New chapter when? Tired of waiting. Me too. Isn't it kind of sad though? What do you mean? Because this will probably be the last chapter. What? <laughs> no! Yeah, it'll all be over. I'm pretty sad about it too. I'll miss it too. It'll be interesting to finally see at least what the uh, transformation is after all this time. Huh. I'm sure June could theory post about that through the morning. Speaking of tomorrow, maybe I should head home and sleep soon. Already? Quest is the real server, Grandpa. How late do you usually stay up, Eureka? I mean, my sleep schedule has actually been pretty bad. I'm trying really hard to change it. Um, I guess, realistically, yeah. Ah, uh, maybe until 4am. This is identity theft! Because he stays up at 4 a.m. too. <laughs> Maybe you'll have someone to stay up with you now. I'd like that. Oh, I'm back. Good morning. <laughs> it's not morning here for me, but good morning, Sallow. Oh, that's right. Welcome back. My bad. Oh, oh my gosh. It's the guy. <laughs> Oh, you don't need to apologize. Toasty! Look who decided to turn on his second monitor. Please. Hi, Toasty! Hello, hello, etc, etc. We have a new person, by the way. Oh? Morning. Uh, I guess this? Oh, hello, Toasty! Uh-huh. looks amazing. <gasps> this is so cool. I wish this was reality. <laughs> Instead of just Dayu. What's Dayu? It's a name for the AU where Damien never broke up with Lola. Oh. <laughs> Do you remember why he broke up with her? go back to that. I feel pretty chill. Pretty zen. Okay. I'll see. Not really, to be honest. No worries. Let's summarize. Damien was Lola's first love interest in Blue... Blumick. Blumick. <laughs> Blumick is the web novel's nickname. Maybe Blue Mike? Or Blue Mick? Blooming panic. Yeah. And he was really torn about Lola's transformation because he values personal appearance and service level things quite a bit. When he couldn't handle it anymore, he ended the relationship. Poor Lola. That was a hard chapter to read. It wasn't her fault! Oh wow, this is amazing art. So anyway, Dayu is one of my favorite AUs. Because it's full of stuff like this. And Damien made the right choice! <laughs> no way! <laughs> it was such a selfish reason to end things. And it was really hard for Lola to deal with. Oh, is everyone fighting in here? <laughs> selfish or not? He knew he wasn't able to get over it and broke up with her. Oh, it's Dayu again. Hmm. Rika, who do you agree with? Um... Oh man. Oh, this would like 
give me like points for either quest or night owl uh who do i want to i'm i was kind of wanting to go blind but i guess it's pretty self-explanatory for like who you want to get with first uh I'll do... Sorry, I think that was pretty terrible, Damien. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, I was trying to sound like those 1920s cartoons. Yes. Wait, uh... Oh no, they, they're talking. Wait, let me stop the bit. Oh no! Yeah, see? Breaking up with your partner over something like that, it just seems cruel. It would have been crueler to stay with her! Fight, fight, fight! Guys, we're not fighting! Controversial character, either way, but still a good character. Agreed. Ain't treating like. Being treated like that, though. Uh. Oh no. Has that happened to you? Not this specifically, but I'm a little familiar with bad breakups and comments on my appearance. Oh dang. It's getting a little bit real. <laughs> what? What do you look like? Oh my god. XYX. XYX. What? Ignore him. <laughs> I changed a lot after I graduated college is all. Hmm. Interesting. I'm sure you look very cute. Agreed. Don't let the trash get you down. Aww. You seem like a good person, so they're lost. Yeah. You can't agree after you defended Tapi. <laughs> this is different. Erika, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. It's okay. No, it's okay. You're too nice. You really are. Quest. How bannable is offending new server, <laughs> server members? Hmm. Please don't ban me. <laughs> Damien Discord. Oh, how I missed you. Eureka. Do you have a couple min? Yes. Why? Do you want to call for a bit? Oh. <laughs> this fast? Wait, how do I save? Wait. What am I look? Oh, chat, history, yup. Oh, okay, cool. Save. Nice. Oh. Ah, I promise I'm not offended by what Night Owl said. Ban, ban, ban. Oh my god. No! No worries. It's not about that. I just think you're fun to talk to. And, well... Am I getting in the right direction? I'm a little bored right now at work. What if he... What if he's a co-worker that works... At the job that my, the character works at? Wow, how come... You never want to call me. <laughs> wow. I'll be in the voice channel. Join if you want. Ooh. No pressure if you don't want to. You guys have fun. Class time once again. Okay. Toasty, we can call sometime. Oh, gee. <laughs> sure, I'll be right there. <laughs> Server, you there? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> there you are. Oh, wow. Excuse me. Oh, we. Why? Why did I get so taken off guard by a blinking? <laughs> what? Have I got something on my face? Oh, sorry. It's nothing like that. This is. Wow. This is more intimate than I thought. With the weird lighting in my office, it almost looked like your eyes were glowing. It threw me off guard. Interesting. Uh, anyway, disregard. Welcome to our humble server. I'm Quest, 
the tired dad whose job it is to herd people to their appropriate channels. Excuse me. <clears throat> Aha! Well, thanks for the welcome. Of course. But, oh, hold on. Ew. What is it? This is awkward. I'm the one who asked you in here, but I just got more work in. Wow. It's okay. Oh, you're going already? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. But I'm happy I got to see you at least. Yup, yup. Same here. Well, let's not lay it on a little bit too thick. Uh, want to try again tomorrow? Sure. I'm usually available around this time. Gotta make it up to you, right? Whew. Okay. Well, good night. You get your rest. Good night. Dang, that my heart fluttered a little bit. <laughs> Not going to lie. Eh? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> night one, Tuesday. Oh, the cute little sketch. I should probably read this bar request. Stop playing. Let's go. Woman rules. Mm-hmm. I guess nothing here for now. Uh, I guess there's nothing here currently. Hmm. I should probably read this so I can get more context of what the story is about. Okay. Looming panic. I become a monster. Chapter thirty-six. Huh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me take a sip of tea. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh my god. Lola, I... Lola kept running without even a backward glance and only caught her breath when she got back to her apartment building. She had to get in before Nathaniel caught up. She couldn't bear to hear another word. L Lola? Lola yelped and backed up against the door. However, it wasn't Nathaniel standing in front of her, but a very confused Xander. Xander, don't sneak up on me like that. I thought you... Lola choked and started to sob. Whoa, hey, what's going on? Na Nathaniel broke up with me. He, he said he was tired of dealing with me. That I'm too needy. He said what? I know I've been a lot lately. I should have talked to Lydia or... Lola, look at me. Xander gave her a fierce look. You've been going through so much lately. Of course you'd be needy. You have more need... Oh, oh sorry. You have more needs right now. He put his hands on hers and gave them a gentle squeeze. Relationships aren't always 50-50. Sometimes one person needs a little more help. It's all about communicating and he failed to do that. He could have talked with you, and, um... Sanders seemed to suddenly run out of steam. He had been leaning towards Lola and now... And now stopped short as he finally noticed their closeness. His eyes drifted down to their clasped hands. He should... Uh... Xander? He drew away from... Oh my goodness. He drew away with a start. S sorry, got too into it. But maybe, um... What is going on? Oh... <laughs> She's. What is going on? With, that's a little bit too aggressive. What is going on with you? Talk to me. I, I, I can't. I. Lola's eyes blurred with tears for the second time. I've had enough of this. This time, no one called after her as she ran. Oh, the poor gal. Her eyes were so puffy when she descend, descended to grab pizza delivery a few hours later. What was up with that? Oh, jeez. What was up with Xander anyway? She had needed him, and he just froze. Maybe it was... Lola blushed. 
remembering how close they were at that moment. Could he? She shook her head and pushed the lobby doors open. It didn't matter. She'd get her pizza and forget about Xander losing his mind. Damn, it was pouring rain outside. Lola! Lola! Now Lola was frozen in place. Xander stood in front of her, soaked in the rain, holding a huge beaten bouquet of flowers. Lola, I'm sorry. I talked about communicating, and I couldn't even manage it myself. I, I, I like you, Lola. I really, really like you. I got you flowers, but the rain... Xander, you big, lovable idiot! Lola... F <laughs> My goodness. Lola rushed forward and embraced him. I, I really like you too. So why didn't you say anything? I've really liked you for a long time. But you started dating Nathaniel, and I convinced myself to stay quiet. I didn't think I had a chance. And then we had that moment in the lobby, and it suddenly seemed so real. But I couldn't bring myself to confess while you were still so hurt about Nathaniel. I thought it would be selfish, and I hurt you in my indecision. Lola softened. That makes sense. I'm sorry I put you in that spot. I should have acknowledged my feelings earlier. I just really like Nathaniel too, and I didn't want to lose that. She laughed bitterly. For all the good that... For all the good that did. It led us here, didn't it? She laughed. I guess it did, and hopefully it will lead us inside where it's not cold and wet. Xander sneezed and grinned bashfully. That does sound better, yeah. Um, I invite, I'd invite you to my place, but I don't have much non-dessert food right now. Well, I did order a pizza. I'll share if you let me have some of your snickerdoodles. Sounds perfect to me. The next morning, Lola rolled out of a bed. Oh my god. The next morning, Lola rolled out of bed and saw a text from Xander. Good morning, Lola. Hope you slept well. Hard to believe last night happened. Talk soon? Lola squealed and promptly blushed. Talk soon, she replied. Her phone buzzed again, this time with a message from the last person she'd expect. Hey Lola, it's Nathaniel. Lola's breath shook. I didn't message earlier because I'm ashamed. Ashamed of myself for how I acted towards you. There aren't any words to make up for what I did, but I am deeply sorry for treating you that way. I know you probably won't want to see me for a long time, and I don't blame you for it. You may never even forgive me, and I wouldn't blame you for that either. I'm going to take some time to work on opening up, and not putting so much pressure on myself. I never ever want to be the person I was to you that day again. And I hope that if we talk again someday, you'll find I've changed for the better. Take care. Wow. That's... That's a lot. <laughs> Lola tapped out a thank you, sent it, and flopped onto her bed. Nathaniel. He was still such a sore spot in her heart, but she couldn't bring herself to fully close the door on him. Someday, could we be friends again? Lola's hands trembled. She needed a distraction. Right on cue, a text came in. From Damien? There's so much <laughs> there's so much going on right now. Not the distraction Lola was hoping for. She debated blocking his number, but something compelled her to read the message first. Hey, it's Damien. Would you be down to meet up sometime soon? I want to apologize and talk for a minute if that's okay. That took Lola aback. Damien apologize? He probably had an ulterior motive, right? Lola hesitated. She was brave enough to deal with Nathaniel a minute ago, and that worked out well. She could handle Damien. Sure, meet me at the boba shop by my place, okay? I mean, oh wow. Sure, meet me at the boba shop by my place today, around 4? He replied almost... Oh, jeez. He replied almost instantly. I'll be there. Hey, uh, thanks for showing up, and for replying in the first place. I don't even deserve that much. Damien was uncharacteristically flustered as he and Lola grabbed a table. He rubbed his neck and rumpled the collar of his surprisingly fashionable shirt. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Maybe Damien was changing. Lola stared as he floundered his way into a chair. Before anything else, just know I'm not fishing for a second shot at a relationship or anything. That's not something I'm going for, even if I wanted to. Sorry. Not that you're not great. I mean, it's all in the past and... Z Damien, breathe! <laughs> Shit. Sorry, sorry. He took a gulp of his drink inside. Alright, um, I know this is way overdue, but I... Lola, I'm so sorry. For everything. The way I broke things off without even trying to work it out. The fact that I didn't even send you a text. It was awful of me, and I'm sorry. You don't have to accept my apology, of course, but, um, yeah. You deserve better. Still do. 
Jeez Louise. <laughs> this is, um... Um... Yeah, we, we, we don't need to get into that. <laughs> um... Lola sat silently and Damien continued. You changed and I pushed you away as a reflex. I freaked out. That's not an excuse or anything. Um, anyway, I felt so rotten after. You were the first real friend I've had in a long, long time and I blew it. So I'm trying to do better. Be someone that, that maybe could be friends with you again. Does that mean you'll finally own up to playing Bejeweled on your phone? She blurted out. Damien stared, stunned. Lola put her head in her hands, and before either of them knew it, they were laughing. I guess I can manage that. I guess I can manage that, he admitted sheepishly. I'll show you all the ridiculously high scores I've racked up across my games. And all the power-ups you buy with real-life money. Hey! They burst into laughter again. Lola grinned. You know, you're not so bad to hang out with anymore. Uh, no offense. Damien smiled shyly in return. Hey, I'll take it. I'm just glad you didn't get up and walk out. Lola groaned. Well, I hate to say it now, but I do have to go study soon. Excuse me, I, I think I need a burp. Wait! Oh my god. That did pick up. Uh, okay. Wait, let me see. <laughs> Wait. Okay, that was really embarrassing. I'm sorry everyone that you had to hear that. <clears throat> Let's continue. Don't sweat it. We can catch up later if you want to. Absolutely, talk to you later. You know it. Back at her apartment, Lola felt a jolt run down her spine as she set down her keys. Static electricity, maybe? She shrugged her shoulders and another jolt ran through her. Then another. Oh no. Lola was sure everyone in the building could hear her heart pounding as she yanked the blind shut. She briefly considered calling Xander but stopped short of picking up her phone. No, she would have to go through this alone. As the shocks rattled through her body, all Lola could do was panic. Was she going to change in a way she liked? Would Xander still like her? Would she become a completely different person? Like it or not, Lola was about to find out. She sat down on her bed and took a deep breath. Lola 2.0, here I come. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm starting to get the story of the web novel, Blooming Panic. Interesting. All right, what did I miss? Mm. I don't know how you guys can be in here all night. You people never relax. I feel pretty chill, pretty zen. What's wrong? Hi, sorry, I don't mean to bring my props here. It's okay. Chat's dead anyway. Thank you. It's about school. Are you failing again? Oh! <laughs> it was supposed to be a teasing way. Are you failing again? I am not. I'm stressed out over my college apps. You decided what you want to do? No. But you started filling them out, right? Today I filled out my first one for it. 
It, what? Which one? Um, gee, I, m I meant like IT. Oh, like information technology? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, she has a really pretty voice. <laughs> Info, yes. That's a great career. Yeah. Thanks. What were you even worried about? The world? What part? I don't know. High school wasn't very accommodating, and I worry college will be even worse. And money is involved now. Change is always like that. You just have to be open to new experiences. And you know we'll be willing to help you too. Schools are getting better these days. With helping students. We even had a mental health club. Thank you both for that. And, and, what really helped me a lot too was just... Doing things I like slash joining clubs and making friends who help too. Never underestimate the power of friendship. Aww. That's sweet. <clears throat> I have been getting interested in some new stuff, but I don't know if it's boring. What do you like to do? Oh, I've just been messing around on piano. Did your mom make you? <laughs> I was JK. <laughs> well, she did, but not anymore. I have more fun now making little songs on my own. Ooh! Too. That's so cute. I'm not very good though. Can I hear? Me too. Mm, okay. Here's what I've been working on lately. So pretty, wow. Oh gee, even this intro. This is brilliant too. Do you like it that much? I do! Yes! Thank you! I don't know why you were even worried. Just be yourself. Just be yourself too. You'll make friends easy. Thank you. I guess I want to hear more since you went to college already. How was it for you? I dropped out. What? Really? Yeah, there was a scandal so I left, but... <laughs> I got a job anyway and everything was fine. <laughs> scandal? Oh, jeez. Oh, I guess I didn't mention that before, huh? Um, no? How do I change the music? I guess it'll just play the same thing. I'll admit, I'm curious. Haha, <laughs> I don't mind. Um, so long story short, I low-key want the long version. No. <laughs> so, I'm pretty gay, just FYI. She's the biggest lesbian on the planet, Eureka. And it turned out my... <laughs> anyway, it turned out my extremely hot, gorgeous, long-legged... Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? Sweet! I need to listen. Gen Gen 
she's British. <laughs> no, she's British. I'm not reading that. Oh, gee, we get it. Sweet snowing. <gasps> oh. Anyway, so my hot professor. Oh no. Oh my god. Share my enthusiasm for holding hands and watching the sunset. You and your professor? <laughs> wow. Oh gee. Jokes aside, it was kind of a big deal, so I left. So that she wouldn't get in trouble. Yeah, I get it. Still sad though. Yeah, but it's fine. Everything worked out okay. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Thanks! Well, I doubt I'll be getting in any scandals. <laughs> Please don't. One last thing for you to worry about. Single life has treated me well. Ha! Yes. Okay, I think it's bedtime for me. Study hard, too. I'll be going, too. Good night. Hey, Eureka. Oh, seems I missed the fun. I wanted to tell too I like the piano. It's going to get buried like this. Hmm. Slash music ad. Please add a name to this file upload, such as slash music ad name. Oh. Slash music ad. Tutu's name. Tune. Tutu's tune. Tutu's tune has been added to the music list. Aw. Uh oh, Mod is here. Bye. Mods have feelings too. Uh -huh. Aw, I'm still here. Yes. I see Big Lady has quite an interesting experience. Well, I'm happy if she is. As long as she takes care of herself properly. You're like a concerned father. Well, I can't say I haven't gotten that before. But it's all good. I'm just glad you're here. I work late shift, so I'm surprised anyone is here at all. The late shift? Ah, yeah. I don't care for them, but it's quiet. Do you like your job? Well, I'm just grateful to have this one. I work in sales, nothing special. Hey, are you going to be up much longer? Uh, we can be a little flirty. Well, I am now. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I mean, if you don't mind talking again. Okay, I'll be in the voice channel. I won't keep you long, promise. Okay. Hey there. Oh my god. <laughs> That's never not going to stop surprising me. So we meet again. Yes. That's so funny. Yeah, friend or foe. So we do, you look tired. Oh, it should be. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's my good. shift was over 10 hours, unfortunately. Oh man. Sorry, it's all right. That. I'd say I'm used to it, but that would be a lie, huh? Dang. Honestly, I'm fine. I guess I just wanted to hear someone else's voice, other than my boss. Well, how about you? How was your day? Mm, it was okay. I'm looking forward to the oh, weekend. Oh, that's nice. I'm guessing you're looking forward to the Bloomick updates? Oh, it is Bloomick, alright. Always! <laughs> well, that was an easy one considering you're in here. I'll be looking forward to your hot takes. If you don't mind me asking, I've been curious. You said you were in finance, right? Do we work in the same company? I did. You don't sound too enthused about it. Oh. 
I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> we get such a weird group of people here. That anonymous invite. An ongoing mystery. Hmm. I'm coming up empty, though. Let's not be made. <laughs> so dumb. far, it seems that way. That wouldn't be much of a mystery, though, would it? Although, Naked Toaster would agree with you. Oh? Him? Naked Toaster. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't care about Blooming Panic nearly as much as the rest of us. Oh. Uh, saying that username to you feels strange. I used to refuse to say it at all, you know. I guess I've been here too long. It came out naturally. Oh, wait. I have an extremely important question to ask. Oh? Huh? Favorite character. No wrong answers, unless I don't like them. Funny. <laughs> well, then you should go well, first. Well, that's unfair. I asked first. Uh, tough cookies. <laughs> okay. Then I guess, Xander. Though you would have been able to figure that out pretty easily. Ah, uh, but damn. Now I feel bad for joking that I judge you. It's fine, I know it was just a joke. Yeah, but... I don't like to judge people. I don't want you to think I'm like that, even as a joke. If you feel bad, make it up to me. I can't say that seriously. Oh, yay, let's go! <laughs> okay, I walked into that one. What did you have in mind? What? Tell me something embarrassing or tell me a secret. Ooh. <gasps> he has a tattoo on his arm. Hmm. Tell me something embarrassing or tell me a secret. Ah. Oh. What do I choose? These are both so good. <sighs> Who's really just mad? I shouldn't ask for the secret thing. Tell me something uh. embarrassing. Well, I have a million stories like that. You you don't want one of those. Dang it. <laughs> yes, I do. Please. Anything is fine. I guess there was that one time when I was new to my job. I had forgotten my glasses at home, so I had been making a lot of mistakes that day. And I accidentally opened an obvious spam email. What? So? Uh, well... It directed me to a very inappropriate website as my boss walked by. <laughs> no way. With sound. Oh no. Oh my god. Yes, so I had to explain to her what was happening and ask for her help while that was blasting on the speakers. Sorry for asking, but thanks for sharing. <laughs> well, it's fine. I still can't look her in the eyes even now, though. I took up an offer to change desks just so I wouldn't have to pass hers every day. Oh my god. As much as it pains me to say this, you look really tired and it's already very late. I'm worried if we keep talking that I won't want to stop. So we should break for the night. Oh my gosh, he used the- he said it, he said the line. But thank you for hopping in. Of course. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> <laughs> I do it because I want to. Don't get too lonely without me. Oh my gosh. Dare I? Nay, I shan't. Lest. Um. Dang it. Um. Ah! <laughs> you make me sound like I'm. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll do my best. No promises. Okay. A good night quest. I should probably save. <laughs> okay, so I am on his route. Okay, cool. I was kind of hoping to do his route first. Alright, let me save. 
Whoops. Yes. Don't need discussion. I guess there's none. Oh my gosh, they're talking. <clears throat> Perhaps in another life, in a just world, you wouldn't have said what you just said. Oh, come on. Why are you pretending it's not plausible? Pretending? When have I ever? In my life? Don't even. Pretended to be anything but my beautiful knightly self. The right way. <laughs> The rightful ruler of all Eorzea. Slash P X Y X. Sorry, you cannot use this command. Oh well, another victim of my power. It's so hard being me. Um, hi. <laughs> Help me, Eureka. Hi, Eureka. You're just in time. I couldn't stop them. It just so happens that today I'm wearing my 35th anniversary Final Fantasy XIV t-shirt while playing this. So this is interesting. This troll doesn't think it's possible that Lola ends up with Nathaniel. They were in a loving relationship until that breakup. Lola was devastated. Have you considered that I know how to read? <laughs> Next one. User... June has been restricted for 15 minutes from bot spam. <laughs> Please say something, June? Hello? Mod! Mod! What did she say? Mod! Mod! Oh, she actually says that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, June. Yeah, I didn't think you would actually get restricted. <laughs> What did you expect from a Nathaniel apologist? <laughs> oh my god. Now, that's not what June was saying at all. She's just saying he was perfect until he got mad that one time. Hello, Eureka. I restrict June. User June has been unrestricted. <gasps> Wow, a mod actually came. Wish I had a million dollars. Me too. <laughs> Wish I had two million dollars and... That Lola keychain that got sold out instantly. Ah. Uh, now you're just being greedy. Wow, you're here early. <laughs> ah yes, I got off work early today. About time. Ah, fine. Found it finally. What? A post-it in fan art dump. Ooh. Whoa. Right? Wow, this looks amazing. I love the colors. Me too. Good taste, Eureka. <laughs> oh, you know. Even though I'm team Lola slash Celeste, I think I'd be really happy with this. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but... Oh no. I don't know, I'm not convinced. It's not like any of the love interests are impossible. Are you going to talk about Nathaniel again? So what if I am? Well... Well, Lola forgave Damien. Why not Nathaniel? Well, I haven't. She did! Kinda, I guess. I just think people make mistakes, and people change. People can change. He's already trying to get better, you know? Hmm. Well, I guess, but I wouldn't wish a relationship like that on someone. Especially poor Lola. It's not like she's there to fix him. Goodness, no! I just meant he's already changing, and... People are allowed to atone for their mistakes, and find happiness. I like how that sounds. I mean, I agree, but apologizing once isn't good evidence of long-term change. Well, now I'm wondering, like, what is proof? Enough. Inoga. <laughs> I 
his actions. He hasn't done anything bad since then, right? Hmm. That's true. He hasn't. I'm just not convinced is all. And she's deaf not obligated to. Yeah, people don't have to forgive someone who hurt them even if they've changed. That's also true. Well, yes. I guess that's true too. What do you think, Eureka? But let's move to a blooming discussion. Yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts. Okay, moving. Alright. So this is now open. Uh, boop boop. I want to say I wouldn't give Nathaniel a chance, but I'm trying to go for quests, so... Hmm. Let's just say. But... Yeah, that's fair. No one is obligated to deal with him. Of course not. I was just thinking of it realistically. Because people make mistakes IRL all the time. I guess we are holding him to a high standard. You think he was really so unforgivable? Uh, no, I think I would just need more time. Mm, yeah, I feel the same. Yeah, I get that. If only X, Y, X all. <laughs> Not you adding him. I suppose that's realistic. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Own opinion in the end. Oh. And in my opinion, it's time to turn in for the day. Okay, see you. Ciao. Later, June. A good one. And I better not come back to nonsense. X, Y, X. <laughs> Please. A quest? Yes. Have you been in a situation where you had to forgive someone for something bad? You seem like you have life experience. Oh, are you calling him old? I'm not that old, you know. No, no, no. I didn't mean it like that, I swear. Hello. Amazing timing. Good evening. Good evening. Oh my gosh. Good evening, Eureka. I hope you are well. To answer your question, I'm wondering. Hmm. Let me try something with Quest's voice in particular. We're talking about redemption. Redemption arcs, by the way, Salo said. Well, it's hard to answer, but I know what it's like to change. I hope this doesn't sound too dramatic. <laughs> well, I think everyone changes. Too many things happen in a person's life for them not to change along with it. Yes, you never know what someone has been through. I can tell you a story if you'd like. Omji, please. No, Bloombot is going to restrict you for sharing personal info again. I want to know. Right. Please be careful this time. I will. <laughs> Alright, go on. My voice is actually a little bit hard to do, but let me try my best. Back in my day, the internet didn't exist, and few people could afford to move away from where I lived. So knowing all the bad things about someone and still sticking by them was normal. You knew these people from birth and grew up with them. You see the good and bad, huh? Yes. If someone made a mistake, we wouldn't let them off scot-free, but ultimately, we would forgive them. I feel like we've lost that. The biggest thing was definitely the, fa the farm incident. You were raised on a farm? Oh! Oopsies. <gasps> User Salo said has been restricted for 5 hours for identifying personal information. Jeez, sorry, Salo. Unrestrict Salo sin. User Salo sin has been unrestricted. But thanks for saying that. I was getting invested. Dang. 
time for asking personal questions, Salo. Let's chat later. I think I'll head off for the night. I'm feeling exhausted. Really? On your early day? Seems so. I don't feel too well. Aw, feel better. Good night. Feel better soon, Quest. Cute. Cute. <laughs> Wait. Uh... See if anything changes. Okay. I'll turn in early as well. Good night, nighty night, nighty. Bye! So, about Nathaniel... <laughs> okay... Interesting... What did I say about Nathaniel? I guess that's it. Hello? Hello? Eureka! Eureka! <laughs> Finally! Noise again! I guess it has been quiet considering... Considering what? <laughs> considering the time! <laughs> Usually the chat is wild at this time of night. Ooh, society boy. Okay. Oh, welcome to the server. Hello, hello. Another newbie, welcome. Yay! How did you find the server? Are you caught up on blooming panini? Blooming what? Autocorrect. Wait, blunini? All in favor of blumic now being blunini, say I. I. Who's this new person? There was a link posted to my blog before. I didn't look for it. I don't know why almost all of it is taken down though, but what's left of it is on blog. I'm about halfway, catching up tonight. Hmm. I'm glad I found people to talk about Blumini with. Yeah, isn't that great, Eureka? You're no longer the newest person. Eureka? It is you! Well, this is new. You two know each other? Of course we do. Really? Yes, we're really close. What? We are not close. Uh, what's going on here? It must be my lucky day. Eureka and I go way back. Wow, we dated for years. Do you have a new number? You haven't answered me for a while. Oh. Here's mine. This message has been deleted. This is your first warning. Please do not post personal identifying information. Oops, yeah, none of that is allowed. After two strikes, Bloombot starts restricting you. Sorry, I'm still not quite understanding. Are you sure it's her and not someone with the same username? Of course, I'm sure. This is kind of creepy. I recognize her anywhere. I know her better than anyone. Babe, why aren't you talking? Are you busy? What? Wait. Ooh, oh my god, not that voice. <laughs> if she's her ex, why are you still calling her babe? A faded lover's reunion. Romantic. Please stop. Oh. Are you uncomfortable? I'm sorry. Yes, let's move on. Oh boy. 
Come on, don't make this awkward. Wow. Hey, stop. Yeah, this is a lot. Whoa. Oh god, please help me. What? <laughs> I'd love to... <laughs> I went a little bit fast there, buddies. I mean, buddy? I'd love to, Angel. But you have to tell me what's going on. The society boy guy, he said you were lovers? Well, he's my ex. <laughs> Alright, I understand. And you don't want him bothering you? No. Okay, please don't worry about it. You're weirder than Toaster, low-key. So, he's amazing like me? Don't drag me into this. Hey. Sorry. Uh, wait. <laughs> hey, welcome to the server. I'm only going to say this once. Don't bother Eureka anymore. It doesn't matter if you knew her before. She's clearly uncomfortable with you. And if you can't obey the rules, I'll have to kick you. Let me know if you have any questions. Are you shitting me right now? I'm extremely serious. But like I said, let me know if you have any questions. I haven't even done anything. It's not negotiable. We can, you can discuss Bloomick as normal, but just do not contact her. Okay, I see what's going on here. Yeah, sure, whatever. But she doesn't belong to you. That's strange. I don't recall her belonging to anyone. <sighs> Holy moly. <laughs> Well, holy shit. Let's not discuss it. Don't particularly want to. Yeah, agreed. My god. That's... Oof, I actually have chills. This makes me kind of uncomfortable <laughs> a little bit. Okay, please don't worry about it. I'll keep an eye out, but let me know if you're having any problems, okay? Yeah, my hero. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't do more for you s sooner. I really don't want you to be un uncomfortable here. Thank you. It's no problem. Whew, you're still not typing in there though. I don't really feel up to it. I figured, I'm sorry this happened to you. If it's easier, would you be up for a call? Just us, and you can vent all you want. I'll be waiting if you choose to join me. No pressure. Oh boy. <sighs> Quest. Oh boy, buddy. <sighs> hey. Um. Thanks for meeting me here tonight. Yeah. I should be thanking no, you. No, it's okay. You know I don't mind. That I, um, like to, I mean. So, did you want to talk about it? <laughs> I'm just imagining him sitting in his, like, wheelie chair, like, backwards. And he has his, like, hands on top. And he's like, so, what's the problem? <laughs> I just can't believe he found me yeah. here. Did he know you were a fan prior to this? No. Strange. Yeah, that's really weird. Not to worry you further, but it almost sounds like he's... Oh boy. What? Uh, sorry. Is he known for... stalking? Well... Oh dear. Well, it's probably a coincidence since we don't really choose to come here. And as a mod... I have to remain impartial, but don't worry. If he crosses the line, I won't hesitate to ban him. Thank you. Thank I'm you. just doing my job. Although, just between us, mm -hmm. sometimes I wish I didn't have to. Aww. I might break a small rule, if it's for you. <laughs> okay, man. You're really beautiful, so... 
I understand him being obsessed with you. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, stop it. But it doesn't make his actions okay. Mm. Yep. What to do? This is a complicated matter. <laughs> you think I'm beautiful? Uh, well, I mean, I have eyes. <laughs> Are you fishing for compliments now? Oh my god, man. <laughs> Stop! This is so cheesy! <laughs> I'm trying to be serious. What is going on? I want to do the punny thing. How can I fish when I'm drowning in your eyes? What? Oh. <laughs> you. <laughs> I see what's going on here. What? Well, I think you have the wrong idea about me. Oh, maybe I went a little bit too hard. I'm not saying I'm some sort of playboy or anything, but... Uh-oh. And don't be so careless with me, either. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, no! <laughs> sure you are. <clears throat> anyway... Let's continue. Back on topic. Anything else I should know? I mean, as a mod? Why did that? <laughs> that just reminds me of the. This might be like a really old reference. Hopefully, that doesn't really show my age, but. Um. That one, like. I don't even know what anime is from, but that anime screenshot of like that lady, like, trying to touch this doctor's pants. And she says, Doctor, I need you. <laughs> And then the doctor takes away her hand and says, That is not covered in your life insurance. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, anyway, this is serious. Let me stop joking around. Tell me more about yourself instead. Uh, me? Yes, you. <laughs> well, without going into specifics, I guess I understand stressing about rough relationships. I made some bad decisions when I was younger. Decisions that I pay for every day. Oh dang. Quest? You need to learn how to forgive yourself. How to move on. You didn't know what he was like when you first got together. And even if you did, you are a different person now than you were then, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's insightful. I know it's not unique advice, but Sometimes it helps to hear from someone who's been there. Just like it helps to hear your voice on nights like these. Oh, stop. Hey, you look tired. Let's call it a night. Already? <laughs> Don't tempt me. You've had a long day. Fine, I'll sleep. So obedient. What? Anyway, <laughs> hey. No, no. I didn't say it like it's a bad thing. What in the world? I wouldn't mind doing this again. But let's get some rest for now. Sweet dreams. I hope tomorrow's a better day for you. Good night, Quest. Good night. I'm just putting a thumbs up <laughs> to my screen. <laughs> Like, thank you. Okay, Friday. Hugh boy. No, no, I promise that was a real line. I literally do not remember that in Blue Nini at all. I don't think Xander said that, but he did say something like, The weather didn't matter to me at all. I wanted to be there for you. Yes, romantic, but I think he still mentioned Hale. Like, foreshadowing? Now have you both lost me. 
Let me uh, rain or snow. Rain or snow is a line. Really? I was so close. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember that either. <laughs> I'm starting to think you don't remember Blue Mick at all. Dang. <laughs> Haven't you been dead tired from graduation exams and apps and stuff? <sighs> you should be sleeping, otherwise you won't grow taller. <laughs> no way. <laughs> My thing is, how did he even afford such a large bouquet? Let people enjoy things. Maybe there was a sale. No, no, no. I've seen prices of those. I'm going to get a part-time job when I go to school, and I will hardly be able to afford food, let alone a bouquet. Love has no price. Oh my god. Tutu eating out like... The gratuity thing is only a suggestion, right? Oh my god. <laughs> no! Why did you have that on you? Who is that? I don't know, it's a meme. Been saving it for this specific occasion. When Tutu admits he doesn't tip. You don't tip? Always tip your waiters. Always. I'm literally ble- <laughs> I'm literally being slandered. Do your parents know you don't tip? Stop! I do tip, OMG. I was just kidding, don't roast him. Oh. My apologies. Alright, alright. If we're going to continue, let's go to general. Oh, what's this? What? General. What? Quest not jumping to say hi to Eureka. Very interesting. Good point. Are you two fighting? What are you talking about? Hello, Eureka. Nice to see you, Quest. <laughs> see? There's nothing wrong. What is happening? How long were you two talking last night? Yeah, you two were in voice for a while. I want to join in when I figure out my microphone. <laughs> Please! <laughs> that sounds fun, actually. You're all being ridiculous. Being defensive instead of shrugging. Interesting. Nah, I'm not imagining this. Imagining. Whatever, I can never get that word right. Imagining. Um, imagining. Wait. Imagining. I messed up, I knew how to spell it, okay? Thank you. Now then. Night owl. Toasty. Make it toast. Make it toast. <laughs> What's going on? Just want to confirm from the two people who know Quest best. Uh, what? Oh, I see. Wait, what's going on? Isn't it true that Quest has been giving Eureka special attention? No. No, he's not. Like, the first thing he does is greet her nowadays. Oh yeah, I noticed. Not you too. Is it because of all the voice calls? What? It hasn't even been that many. Quest is in a, oh my gosh, Quest is in his own Blue Nini adventure. We're still calling it that. I see. <laughs> I found fan art of the latest chapter. Wait, I heard the magic words. Gimme, gimme. Wait. I'm running to the fan art channel. I'm good. Party pooper. Jeez. Sorry about that. It's fine. But now I'm feeling self conscious. Excuse me. I haven't made things weird, have I? Of course not. Okay, just checking. I'm a mod before anything else. Oh. I guess we should go see what the art is what that art is. Okay. Oh? Yeah. Before someone starts thinking you're stalling to talk one-on-one, -on -one, 
I'm gonna kick you. Love you too. Sorry, I took so long. I had trouble uploading. It's okay. Yeah, we're paying it. We're we're pa patient. Oh my god. Wait, what's happening? Okay. I appreciate it. I will not. I will not bite the hand that feeds me. Oh, this is cute. Wow! Wow! Beautiful! My OTP. Oh! Wait! It cut off! My OTP. My OTP. My OTP. They look amazing. Thank you so much for sharing this, Sallow. Vibrating. Look how happy they look. This is how they're meant to be. It looks gorgeous. I am healed. Praise be, praise be, praise be. Skin cleared, body cleansed. I'm glad you think so too. I'm cheering for them. Quest, weren't you complaining about the lack of Xander art? I wouldn't consider it complaining as much as having taste. <laughs> sure. Sure. That's probably the right delivery. You were in VC a long time ago, talking about Xander as a true root. On the verge of tears. Uh, what? Excuse me? Right? Right? On the verge of tears. She wasn't even in the call. <laughs> OMG, don't cry, Quest. It's okay. They're there. Sure. Bully the mod. What are you talking about? We love you. Yeah, just looking out. <laughs> you know, the longer I stare at this, the more I think Xander reminds me of someone. Oh? Hmm. I'd vote for Quest or Onion Thief. Me? Onion is way too straight-laced. I relate to Xander quite a bit. I used to be rather shy about my interests. I also have experience of letting people slip away. Oh, sorry, Sallow. I guess he is a relatable guy. I think he's one of the kindest people in Blue Mick. Yeah, that's true. Eureka, if you had to compare him to someone in the server, who would it be? Wow, put on the spot much? You brought it up. I'd say... I mean... Quest? <laughs> I'd say Quest. Yeah, I guess. Well, don't sound so happy about it. I mean, yeah, I see it. Quest is like... Uh, the calm, nice one. Well, yes, but that's not what I was thinking of. Wait, what's... Isn't that anything? Okay. I think Quest is a lovely Xander. It takes time for him to open up, but he is always considerate. Thank you. A pushover. That's the word. Holy shit. Wow. I don't mean it in a bad way. No, of course not. You meant it in a nice way. <laughs> Hide. What's going- what's he going to do? Give you a lecture? To be honest, that terrifies me. Remember that time when I locked myself out and you let me have it? <laughs> I was worried. Yeah, cruel. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to stress you out more. I know. It's just funny now. Hilarious. Oh, hey! Oh, this guy. What's up, society boy? Hold that thought. <laughs> I haven't properly, pro I haven't properly introduced myself to society boy. This will be good, huh? I'm a mod and bot created to establish peace. Please, it's a Y, not an I. 
You may think of me as a godlike entity watching over your fragile human life. Wait, is this a joke? No jokes. Only peace. Only war. Are you... Are you... Are you making fun of... Oh my god, wait. Are you... Are you making fun of me? Why would I do something you can do yourself? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, this is hilarious. I am off to spread peace and war to the world. Toodles, XYX. Right. That was funny. What were you saying, society boy? Comparing Xander to Quest, but I guess the rules too. Since clogging up channels or staying on topic only applies to me. Well, I guess we can go back to general or blooming discussion. You shouldn't compare him to Quest just because he's a mod. Or not? Oh boy. Let's go back to general. You also don't need to at me every time. Is that a rule too? A pleasant suggestion. <laughs> I have a phone call to, to take. Of course you do. Like I was saying, Quest and Xander aren't one-on-one -on -one or anything, but, well, what? I wasn't finished typing. Well, you can stop. What the hell is your problem? Guys, stay out of it. Don't talk to her like that. Or what? Aren't you like 12? You guys are terrible fans. This place is like a cult, and your takes are just as stupid. Oh, wait. <laughs> this place is like a cult. <laughs> this place is... Oh my god, why does it keep doing this that? This place is like... This place? This place is like... Uh, it's fine. You know what? I'm try- I'm tired of trying to be nice to you. You're just mad cause your ex won't talk to you. Cause you're so clearly a piece of garbage and I can see why she dumped you. No. Quest is a fucking loser with a crush on my ex. Probably some lowlife sweaty ugly nerd. Oh my god. Literally what? In some stupid dead-end job who hasn't got a date in five years. Dude, seriously? Let alone a gym. And now he's using his whittled mod powers to win her over. Pathetic. Okay, I'll listen to this. Are Please. You projecting? Are you projecting? Quest is literally ripped. And he has awesome tattoos. Quest, please come back, liar. You wouldn't even make it into Lola's college. You're- oh my god. You're a BG character with no personality. And you say I'm the 12 year old. Got nothing else to say? That naked toaster. And what the fuck is your problem, big lady? Are you one of those cringy e-girls? I'm in a raid! <laughs> no! <laughs> please help. I don't even want to read that. Huh? What the hell is this dumpster fire? This is ridiculous. Know what? What are you doing? Sorry about this. Oh! <gasps> Everyone has been restricted for 12 hours. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, have a nice night. Let's deal with this tomorrow. Oh, jeez. This is not good. <sighs> oh boy, this is getting a little bit too real right now. Eureka! Eureka! Whoa, hi? Saw you log on, sorry. Uh, how are you? Feeling awkward AF, to be honest. Big mood. And two hasn't been on since, you know. Yeah. I don't want to say anything since he's online right now. I hate that the chat has been so mad today. Although I get it. And I didn't know Toasty could do that. What the heck? Right? 
um, I guess we'll find out soon enough, but... Do you know if he's coming back or not? Society boy? Probably. <laughs> he's right there. He's online right now. <sighs> That's what I get for asking questions, I guess. But I mean, hopefully he's cooled off. Maybe just having a bad day. No. He's just... This guy is just something else. Yeah, fair enough. Eureka, lady, don't worry about it. I really messed up last night. I'm sorry for that. Quest! Hey, Quest. Don't put the freaking... <laughs> hey. <laughs> I knew things were getting out of hand when my boss called. I should have told her I had an emergency or something. I feel really bad. Aww. Not a big deal. Don't. It wasn't anyone's fault but his. I agree. It's no one's, no one else's fault and we know you have a life outside the server. Maybe. Quest, please don't feel bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to read that. Uh, but I still feel guilty regardless. Uh, so I was going to agree but... Stop! Angel? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. This is awkward. By all means, do what you like, Romeo, but it's not like that. What are these options? <laughs> okay, I'm doing- I don't mind. It's cute. It is. Well, I'm glad, but I have a reason, actually. Uh-huh. A lightness. What? To be honest, I kind of don't want to explain anymore. What? No, 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 please. I have to know now. Same. Suddenly losing the will to be on this planet anymore. Sure, but tell us first. Tell us, please. Ugh, fine. Heart's very effective. Well, to make a long story short, um... Eureka kind of sounds like an angel to me. And before you say anything... <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that metaphorically, but like... What? What is happening? Her voice reminded me of an actress who was playing a literal angel. Oh... <laughs> I don't want to give details because I might get restricted, but... I've been nicknaming her Angel in my head. This is... This is really embarrassing. <laughs> this is really embarrassing. <laughs> So, I wasn't really thinking when I typed it out. Wow. If you thought that would make it sound less romantic, then I have zero hopes for you. That's not disappointing. I love it even more now. Sure. <laughs> ah, jeez. Well, if you like it, how am I supposed to stop? Holy shit, Quest. You could have pissed off a certain someone. Yeah, he's online right now, so... The beefy... Wishing Quest was a girl right now. The beefiest girlfriend. I'm not hearing a problem. Stay out of trouble. Bye. Where is the eye-rolling emoji? By the way, thanks for yesterday, too. Yes, thank you. It was awful, but it was kind of nice to see you standing up for me. Aww, it was very sweet. Yeah, of course. You're kind of like a big sister to me, to be honest. Aww. I don't know, I just got really mad, because this is my favorite place to be. <laughs> to an annoying big sister. And, 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 why does it do an annoying big why does it an annoying big sister why must you ruin everything oh what hey hope it's not weird to pull you back in here i just wanted to talk to you without you know everyone else watching no one else uses this channel no it's just me i usually test commands here Trying to understand how Bloombot works, but, um... <laughs> I 
Can I ask you something related to society, boy, if that's alright? I guess. I know, I'm sorry. I just did some thinking last night after I came back and saw the chat. I may go ahead and ban him for real when he comes back. The server's had its arguments before and I've always managed to resolve them. The only difference this time is you. I just wanted him gone for you, but... Oh? I guess some of what he said was right. Wait, what's going on? Hmm. What part? Most of it. I am a loser. I work a dead-end job. I avoid dating. Definitely a nerd. Nerd. Oh, stop. This is so sad. Quest. What I'm trying to say is... I do have feelings for you. Oh. Which I feel really silly about because we just met, but it would be pointless to lie. I'm not asking for anything, of course. But I'm telling you because I don't want my crush to be the reason I ban Society Boy. Hmm. So my question is... Uh, yeah, I like it too. No, no, no? Hold that thought. I wasn't exactly... I wasn't actually expecting a reply like that. Sorry, I just can't process this. My brain is frying. I gotta talk to you about this voice. Uh, uh, yes, right. Hold that thought. I'm getting added in another channel. I'm going to check it out first. Don't go anywhere. Ooh, wait for me. Okay, I'll come too. All right. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Hopefully it's not anything bad. Um, I think it's something bad. If you know you're going to be kicked, why not just leave? Just wanted some parting words. Uh-huh. Actual cringe. <laughs> oh, hmm. So you finally showed up, Quest. Probably too busy talking to her, right? What do you want? Just get rid of this guy, dude. Bad news. What? It's okay. It's okay. I'm. It's okay. I messed up. I get it. You're apologizing? Of course. Wait, really? I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. Please just go. Just know that everything I do is for you, babe. Ugh, this is so gross. Hey, enough. If that's all you have to say, then... I know. Bye, everyone. Here's my parting... Uh-oh. Here's my parting... Some fan art you'll surely, surely enjoy. Wait. What the hell? This is... What is wrong with this guy? Your precious boy toy is a convict who holds up stores at gunpoint. This year's award for best character cosplay goes to the golden boy. What the fuck, man? Are you serious with this? Hello, censors? Is this even... I mean, it looks exactly like him, but he wouldn't do something like that. It's Quest. Come on, man. Just ban him. Quest. Probably busy hiding his gun. Oh my god. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, you po- POS. I don't Quest? Ooh. Oh dear. Just helping you out, babe, but you're ungrateful as usual. I knew something was wrong with that guy, and I was right. Whoa. Toaster, can you just do the thing you did before or something? Is this why you're in here all day? Because you're a criminal and your family has disowned you? I'm trying. I don't know why the bot isn't listening to me. Shut up, dude. Five 
years prison. Quest, is this true? Why would you ask that? Yes. <laughs> what? I see. She logged off. Lady. Hope you're happy. Kick. Sighted boy. My god. Oof. This is not good. <sighs> Finally. User Society Boy has been permanently banned from the server. Okay, sure, even better. Good. I don't understand. Is this real? To Come on, Quest is, you know, the nicest of us all. And that hasn't changed. But I... But I don't understand. I just want an explanation. Dude, you just got docs and you want an explanation? Uh, yes, because I'm a normal person? Just stop. If someone you knew was just revealed to be a fucking monster, it makes sense to want an explanation. Whoa. What is wrong with you? Quest isn't a monster. How could you say that? Does friendship mean nothing to you? Of course it does. That's why I want an explanation. But you just called him a monster. I didn't mean it like that. Oh jeez. If you did it, then take it back. I'll take it back when Quest explains himself. And I think Eureka wants to know too, right? God. Why are you two making me out to be unreasonable or something? Are you still there? Are you still here, Quest? Oh, he locked off. Fine. Okay, fine, whatever. I'll wait. Good night. And I'm sorry, okay? I wasn't trying to be mean. Good night. Oh, jeez. I, I didn't think this would get that serious. Oh my gosh. I can't even process this. Hey, Eureka, you're still here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, 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 hey. Let's get in voice call. The three of us. What? Now? Yep, right now. Let's go. I'm not in a mood, and I highly doubt she is either. Don't you have a test tomorrow? I guess it'd be fine. <laughs> CC? What, really? You don't have to force yourself. Don't back out. I want to see her anyway. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Do you really want to type in here? Obviously not. And I will see you in ring, ring, ring. <laughs> oh, okay. That's really clever. Hello. Oh my god. This thing on? Surely you can see my gorgeous face. He looks so tired. Ugh. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> so you can. Excellent. Okay, so this. Well, okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, hey, you here? Yup. Howdy. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a silly guy. No. No, no, no. Stop. We are not doing this. Aw. Well, there's no need to make this awkward. Aw. Impossible. Big Marty. You've gotten close to Quest lately, haven't you? Oh, we're just getting to the meat of it, I suppose. Wait, I should probably save. Not to pry, but that was my question too. 
How are you feeling about him? I, I, guess don't, I don't know. Sense. I'm not scared. It's a lot to take in. And look, I'm not saying to just ignore it or anything, but... Quest is a good guy. And no offense, but your ex is shitty for what he did. Oh yeah, he is. Full offense for me. I think she deserves to know. Well... There's no point in hiding it now that she has some context. No, West what? was the only one to take the fall for the robbery. In other words, he was forced into it. Oh. And left alone at the scene. Abandoned. That's terrible. Obviously. Uh, I mean... Sorry. I didn't mean for it to come out like that. I'm just frustrated. We are not supposed to give too much personal information. We literally can't. There's even a sensor in voice calls. So he's always been vague with it. But now we all have the details. I guess even the sensor can't catch everything. Just this once, I wish it did. Hmm. What? Actually, my question is for her. Do you know how he got that information on Quest? He's always been stuck. Jeez. Are you saying he can come back then? Oh. I hope. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> That's a terrifying thought. Please don't. But anyway, um, actually, I think I know how he did it. What? Ah. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's really stupid. Quest chats on his office Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, that's true. I know this because one of the now banned links I posted like three months back was my site. It could log incoming IPs and I immediately knew his workplace. I even told him to stop. Wait, wait, I remember that. And his stupid manager still has a meet the team page. I'm sure society bozo just put two and two together. That blog he posted. Yeah, Quest must have clicked it. So we were just un so we were just unlucky. Damn. At least it means this is all over, though, right? I feel like it's not as simple as that. I suppose so. God, it's been a rough patch for the Blue Nini server. <laughs> Request. You know, I think Quest would appreciate it if you two talked. He'll come back tomorrow. I'm sure of it. Aww. Yes, adorable. Just be nice, please. I thought Quest was the server dad, but you're acting really dad-like right now. I thought he was talking to me. I was like, me? What the? He's gone through something traumatic. Aww. <laughs> I'm logging into Final Fantasy. Me? <laughs> My God. Isn't it late where you are? You're the literal last person I want to hear that from. It's so funny. Besides, it's never too late for Final Fantasy. Oh my god. This is so much. <laughs> In fact, anyone can start easily now that new players can play for free up to level 60 with full access to the critically acclaimed expansion. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh my god. Good night. <laughs> No, I want to play. I want to play FF14. <laughs> Night. It'd be so funny if he mains Dragoon in FF. 
Oh my god, I can't wait for his root. Okay, we are back. Well, I wouldn't consider Blunini anything but a romance. Not even fantasy? Why are you scared of just calling it a romance? You like romances. Yeah, I know that. I'm just not sure I've ever said that out loud before. I don't know. Night owl at parties like, hey guys, who wants to read this really cute romance with me? <laughs> Do you tell your friends you read fantasy novels or something? Lady, please. You're still on here, I see. Ah. Hi, honey, dear babe. How was your exam today? <laughs> hey, Eureka, I see you online. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble. Incredible. Wait, now I want to check everybody's. June. Okay, nothing new. How's everyone today? I feel like we've had this convo a lot the past few days, right? Honestly, I don't want to beat around the bush. Huh? I needed time to cool off and want to know if Quest is okay. Oh, me too. Please don't hate me. Quest, I miss you. Me too. Oh, Wait, what? Hey. Wes, are you okay? I'm sorry. I try to explain to everyone before I go. I didn't mean to make people uncomfortable. Go! I just wanted to say sorry to you first. I'll type a list of commands for you. What? You can make someone else mod if you don't want too as well. Quest? Wait, what? Oh, is he gonna leave? I'm just trying to put everything together first. It's not too difficult. The hardest part is directing everyone to the different channels. Quest? Yes? Are you leaving? I can't stay here anymore now that everyone knows. No one said you needed to leave. They didn't need to. Can we talk about this first? You want to talk to me? Why? What happened to being fair? I'm a big hypocrite, huh? Alright, alright, okay. I'm sorry, you're right. Even if I don't think I deserve anything, you have a right to an opinion too. Okay, I'll go. I just need a moment. I, un I wasn't honest- oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't honestly expecting us to talk again. I was scared we wouldn't. Yeah, yeah I was too. I'm sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. But honestly, I want to talk to you so bad. I just want to see you again. Okay. I'll be in voice. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Hey there. Man. <laughs> How are you feeling? Well, we're still talking. I guess it could be worse. Just barely, though. Um. I saw you had a call with Owl and Toaster yesterday. Yep. Did you guys talk about me? About that night? We did. Yeah. I figured. I... I appreciate that. 
Man, can't remember the last time someone asked me that. <laughs> what Toaster and Owl told you is true, but it doesn't matter. It's an excuse. The truth is something like that was bound to happen. What? What do you mean? I was in a rough crowd back then. Incidents like that were inevitable. It was better to be involved than have nothing and no one. But I got out, and now I'm stronger for it in every way. Every way? Mentally. Physically. I won't ever be in a situation like that again. W what? I I'm not saying I would hurt anyone or anything like that. I think I chose the wrong option. No. I just work out now so I can protect myself. I... Wait. Oh. Uh, you're teasing me. <laughs> I thought I made the wrong choice. I was like, wait, why is that the... Why is that one of the options? I'm pouring my heart out here. And you're teasing me. I... Jeez. Ah, uh, but listen, I've said all of this, but what do you think about it? About me? You can be honest with me, you know. Not that I'm saying you aren't. Most people don't want to associate with me after finding out. Well... Who am I to refute my good fortune? I'm really relieved, you know. If you hated me, I don't know what I'd do. But is there, uh, anything else you want to ask about? The future? The future. I mean, I'll see how things go. But you can stay as long as you wish. With your ex gone, I think everyone else is safe from getting doxxed as well. Uh, let's hope so. I meant... Ooh. <laughs> I meant our future. Uh, oh my god. I mean, we can probably talk whenever you want. Just be careful how you're wording things. You'll give a guy the wrong idea. But I'm glad to hear you're thinking of the future. Oh my god. Okay, quest? Yes. Is there something I left out? You're not defined by the mistakes you made a decade ago. Thanks. And I like you for who you are now. Yeah? In what way? <laughs> Platonically! No! Okay. No, no. That's more than a friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Angel, what are you doing to me here? Are you sure? You're not just messing with me, are you? Of course not. <laughs> really? Is this really happening? Well, surely you can't be so irresponsible to start liking a guy you just met. I mean... <laughs> You said you liked me first. I know, I know. But I'm prepared to face the consequences for my actions. What about you? Oh my god. Going to take responsibility for saying you like me? <laughs> I <just> like <laughs> You. You are just... What's the... Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stop you right there because I'm a gentleman. Oh boy. <laughs> and I don't want to say something that'll get me kicked from the server. Kicked? Stopping. Not that I want to. Oh, <laughs> you should see your face right now. Are you mad or flustered? Oh, now that's difficult. Just makes me want to keep going. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Backing down. 
<laughs> Being good. Promise. <laughs> Listen. Thanks for tonight. I have a lot to think about. And maybe I'm being too optimistic saying this, but I think I may just have one more request to make of you. Me? Points to self? What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm going to go for what I want. <laughs> so tell me, Angel. Are you available for a call tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. Good. Because there's a lot I want to talk about. Oh boy. I wish you a very lovely evening. Thank you. Good night, Quest. Good night. Several months later? <laughs> What's happening? All set? I'm so nervous. Well, imagine how I feel. The most beautiful person on the planet is supposed to meet me in a couple of hours. Oh my god! Stop it! <laughs> it's a little too late for that. And if you're getting this flustered over text, things are going to be very fun in person. Ah, okay, okay, I get it. Okay. Listen, I'm boarding in a moment. I'm sorry again, it's taken so long. Not sure if the censored censors had a change of heart or something, but regardless, I couldn't risk getting kicked and never being able to find you again. I know, I understand. You always do. Even when I didn't tell you that I love you- Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! The L word. <laughs> I just want to tell you everything when I have you to myself. I promise I'll tell you anything you ever want to know. When we're alone in our hotel- Whoa! Hotel room? <laughs> I can't. Okay? Like your name! <laughs> yeah, well. I'll tell you my first, middle, and last. Wait, I forgot. I don't, I, we don't know their names. And I want you to say it all back to me a million times, and I'll do the same. Okay, okay, it's time. I'll see you soon. Ooh. Excuse me, miss? <coughs> me? Oh, yes? I'm a little lost. Mind giving me a map to your eyes? Are you kidding me? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi, Quest? Hi, Angel. That's so cheesy. I know, I know. But you're grinning. I'd say that's worth it. What is this? <laughs> um. So why can I see those? Th <laughs> Unless you want me to strip right now, I'll show you later. God. But wow. What is it? You're so gorgeous. Stop. I thought I'd be able to handle it, but I was wrong. What is happening right now? <laughs> Quest. No, no, hold on. I just wanted to say thank you for giving me a chance. Oh. I never thought I'd star in my own romance drama like this. <laughs> <laughs> and even if Bloomick is ending, I met you. So I'm happy, no matter what happens. Making my heart pop. Good to know I'm not alone. It's taking everything in me to not try kissing you now. <gasps> oh my God. Maybe 
I should go for it. Not in the middle of the airport. Can I? Do I get a special... <laughs> <laughs> now I feel bad. I didn't know you'd say yes, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'm a wild card. Well, come on then. Let's get out of here. I have something I need to tell you, remember? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, is there any- have you made your account? Oh, there was something. What is this? I can feel it up. I can <gasps> stay up with me for another round. I hope these late nights excite you. Oh my god. As much as you'd like to. Are you I miss I guess this would be like the bad. I can't believe she's alone with me. Wait, there's something here? Wait, this music is really let me turn it down. Wait, I want to read this. Okay. Good. I kind of want to know what this bad ending is. <laughs> it's so twisted. Okay. Um, the weather report. Wait. Uh, it feels weird. I'm turning. Maybe it'll turn up a little. Yeah. Okay. The re Oh my god. <laughs> the weather report said there'd be snow, but only stray bits of hail litter the dark city streets. This is a little bit too loud. Let me turn it down a little bit more. Alright, there we go. Um... You manage the cold just fine either way, since Quest is like a personal heater at your side. He's been quiet ever since you both left the restaurant, content to listen to your review of the food. But now he breaks his silence as he swings your clasped hands together. We're being followed, you know. His tone is amused rather than worried, so you turn around to look. Not an adult, not a child. Excuse me. But something small and stuttering is definitely struggling against the pavement towards you. Oh my god, sorry. You both stop to let it catch up. <clears throat> a kitten? A puppy? A black four-legged something pants as it shoves its face into into Quest's dress pants. Oh, so, so you're the one being followed, you grin. Quest sighs, muttering something that sounds like, not again, before gently kissing the back of your hand and letting it go. Do you mind? Not at all, good sir. <laughs> he chuckles and rolls his eyes, crouching down to inspect the shivering animal that continues to try and fold itself against him. You glance up at the sky and its promise of snow. It'll die if we leave it, won't it? Quest hums. The shelter's probably closed by now, too. You exchange a meaningful look. Quest lifts... Oh my god. Quest lifts it in its Quest lifts it in his large arms and the animal yips feebly in protest. A dog then. Just for the weekend, I'm sorry, he apologizes. It's okay. You laughing, scratch the pup behind its ears. It's so cute. What should we name it? I think it's a he. How about ah I don't know, I'm bad with names. Wow, you gave up quick. What's the name you like? You and Quest fall into step once more. His smile falls off and he furrows his brows in thought. Hmm. I guess Michelangelo? That's a cute name. Like the artist? Well, it's not like that exactly. You bring yourself closer and put a hand in one of his pockets. Sometimes there are moments like these when Quest reveals old pains that still tug at when Quest reveals old pains that still tug at his seams. In moments like these, you wait until he can gather his words. There the Jeez Louise. There was this guy I knew. It was his nickname. Never found out his real name. 
a runaway who got into dangerous stuff like the rest of us. He, well, when he passed away, we couldn't really tell his family. We had to take care of his burial ourselves. We had to take care of his burial ourselves. He was like me, really fond of dogs and stuff. Michelangelo shifts in his arms, and a hint of Quest's smile returns. It's a nice name. Quest stops to readjust the dog and turns to you with a smirk now playing on his lips. Hey, can I get a kiss for my oh-so-troublesome woes? How about a kiss just because I want to? Acceptable. You reach up. He reaches down. Your cool lips share their warmth together under lamplights that block out the stars. Quest always kisses like he's afraid it'll be the last time. A little bit urgent, quite a bit intense. It's never a short kiss, and it never fails to leave you breathless. You draw back just as you feel his tongue sliding against yours. We should... the dog, I, I mean... He, he laughs and kisses your cheek. Sorry. You're not. I'm not. He kissed... <laughs> not the Freudian slip. <laughs> I'm not. He sings as he slides his lips from your cheek to your ear, voice deepening to caress your eardrums. I love you. <laughs> I can't. You were prepared to say it back, really. The quest is kissing you again, and the cold and the hurry home don't feel so important anymore. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, that was... Uh... That was Quest. <laughs> wow, that was pretty fast. But I think that will be all for today. Let me go to my just chatting room. So, um, let me collect my thoughts on what I think of this game so far. So, as you can see, I just finished a uh, quest route and I got a good ending. Uh, which I am guessing everybody has a good and a bad end, so that would be two endings for both, which is, yeah, that's pretty usual for these kinds of games. I was very surprised at the twist that was pulled for his um, group. I was definitely thinking there was probably something that would make him a little bit more interesting than what we would see um, in his like initial announce announcement, not announcement um, appearance and introduction so that was surprising I am really surprised um, that there were just a lot of things that were really realistic about um, the setting and the game itself like the the relationship that we uh, had with the ex that was really uncomfortable, but I think it was shown in a way that was realistic and it wasn't meant to like be glamorous or like romanticizing anything. I think this is this is definitely a thing that has happened to like people before. So I think this was a good and realistic portrayal of that kind of situation, which I appreciate. Um, and also showing um, Quest's backstory. I guess we never really found out what his name was, which I'm a little bit disappointed. I wonder if we would we would be able to find out his name in the bad end, which is kind of ironic. I feel like, but. Who knows? Um, maybe if I'm interested, I might do his um, bad end on stream, but I might just do that offline just to experience it for myself. So we will see. Um, I'm glad that wasn't glamorous, glamorized, or romanticized either. It it felt. I wouldn't say it was as realistic as like the portrayal of the stalker X, but it's... Hmm, I'm trying to collect my thoughts to be able to word this better. Um, it's... Hmm, 
it felt a little bit thrown in there. It kind of caught me off guard, but I think that was the point. So, yeah, I, I don't dislike it. It was, <laughs> it, it just kind of felt like it was there. But I think that's kind of what makes it a little bit realistic as well. I really enjoyed that route. Um, I'm glad I was able to do his route first. So next I will try to go for either... I think I will try to go for Night Owl next. Um, I will look at the, the Blooming Panic uh, itch page to see um, how to do uh, X, Y, Xs because I think his route is really interesting as well. Even though it feels like it's more of an optional or like extra route, but I like him. He's an interesting character. I like all the characters so far and I really, really like that besides the main for love interest, you get to see, um, you get to interact with the, the side characters as well. They're very fleshed out in my opinion. I feel like they're very realistic and lovable characters and I think the whole uh, Discord environment is super accurate. It's, it's pretty... Um, it kind of reminds me of how I interact with um, my friends in our own personal Discord servers. So that gave me like a very nice, warm, fuzzy feeling. Which I enjoy when reading all of like the dialogue between the four main characters and mixed along with the side cast, um, side, side cast, I guess you call them that. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. This is, and the voice, <laughs> the voice acting was, um, the voice acting is really good. And I'm really glad, um, you get to hear how the side characters sound too with their voice acting. I really, I really like that as well. I, well, I, I still find it so funny that um, Big Lady <laughs> is British. I, I don't know. <laughs> it was just really surprising, but I still love her. I think she's probably my favorite so far. We, had, we didn't really get to uh, see much interaction with like uh, Onion. I forgot the full name of the character, but I'll just call I'll just call him Onion. But maybe in other routes he'll be more present. But I think if I had to pick a favorite side character, it would be um, it would be Big Lady. <laughs> She's really funny and sweet. Although I really like two as well. I think the only character I, I would um, I actively dislike is uh, the X, which I don't even want to name because. It just pisses me off so much. But yeah, I really enjoy this game. I'm so glad I was able to... I didn't think I would be able to finish um, a whole route in just one stream. So that's actually kind of nice. That, would, that makes like the scheduling for um, future uh, playthroughs of routes with the other playable cast members um, easier to do. So I think... It would not be, um, what is it? What's the word? I don't think it would be impossible to predict that it's... Oh my gosh, I keep, re <laughs> I keep losing my train of thought. Wait a minute, I need to mute the music from the game. But yes, um, so each stream would encompass just one route. I think that's a realistic way of playing the game, on stream at least. And it's more like, um, it doesn't feel clunky if I, like, start another, uh, playthrough as well. So, I'm just saying my thoughts here, of course. This is just me just airing out my thoughts. <laughs> However, really organized, um, not organized, um, unorganized and stunted it may sound, but uh, I don't have a script in front of me, so I'm just trying to gather my thoughts together to say it in a hopefully coherent way, <laughs> but um, I really enjoyed that route. It was very sweet. Um, I got very flustered at like 
I get really flustered when like characters call like the player pet names. So, and that's if the other if the other members of the main cast do that, I'm probably going to be <laughs> flustered and just not say, <laughs> just not say the pet names that they give to the player character, which is um that's just my personal preference for. But yeah, I really enjoyed this route. Um, the twist was definitely not what I was expecting for his uh, character, but it it doesn't make me like him any less as a person. And yeah, I am really surprised by how flirty and like um, and bold they make the pair. Uh, the developer, the developers made slash writers made the player character. I'm, I'm more used to like uh, when I played more dating games uh, from like a while back. Um, usually, Japanese dating sims they make they usually make like especially if you're playing as a, a female protag. You're very like passive and sometimes um, a little bit too feminine for my liking, or overly feminine, if I can be truthful about that. But it wasn't always, of course, but it was like that kind of characteristic and like writing for like the player character happened a bunch to the point where I was just like. Sometimes I just want to be like someone that's a little bit bold, you know? So, that was nice and surprising as well. Um, even though it probably wouldn't be like <laughs> how I would personally react to the characters, but I like that we can be like a little bit more bold and flirty and all that. Cheeky, cheeky too, the characters. And I think that's about it. So I will currently be working, doing a bunch of offline stuff. I'm gonna, I still need to do some more reading for the current video that I'm working on. It's, um, it's kind of putting me in a little bit of a slump, but I'm just gonna try to chug through it. It's um, it's a fairly short book, I like 280 pages. I'll talk more about it in the video whenever that comes out. It will most likely be in early June, hopefully, but it may be in middle of June as well. And I have a few um, other video-based projects uh, too that I'm already in the midst of planning and executing. Um, all at different stages course so far uh, for my goal since it's um it's the summer it's officially summer now <laughs> crazy how fast time uh, goes by and I'm hoping with a little bit more of the free time that I have to be able to do more um, video based works more interesting um, projects video projects and I hope you all look forward to that. I'm very excited to get started on them. Um, I just need to finish this particular video first before I can decide what I want to work on for the rest of June. I'm hoping um, if things go well, IRL, <laughs> that I can make maybe two more videos. I'm hoping minimum, not minimum, maximum. I feel like um, I need to be a little bit realistic with myself with video projects. Streams are a little bit more easier to schedule and plan from what I've done since the test stream of Darkest Servant 2. Also about, sorry for going on a little bit of a tangent, but uh, I will say here now that I don't think I will be able to continue playing Darkest Servant 2 for future streams. Um, I try to do do some troubleshooting and even with the help of a friend for like lowering the quality of how the game runs 
so it can like run faster with less stunting and like pauses with the animations and whatnot. I just think it's not good with all of the lag. I just can't figure out how to solve that. Um, it works well when I play the game without stream streaming. Um, so I think I will just continue to play it off offline, unfortunately. But I am considering maybe streaming the first game, uh, Darkest Dungeon 1. That seems to be able to run fine with it being a more like smaller and less I don't want to say less complicated but I can't find another word to use so a little bit less storage and complications for streaming so I will try to see if I can do that in the near future possibly but we will see I will stick to more smaller games like this um, visual novels dating sims maybe more smaller um, roguelikes although I think Darkest Dungeon is probably the only roguelike I am able to play like just being able to do gameplay wise I'm not very good with a lot of like fast paced battle based games uh, but I think these indie games are really good to showcase because um, I think it's good to support indie creators and artists But yeah, we will see. Um, the next uh, Blooming Panic stream will be on this, uh, this following Friday at the same time, 3 p.m. EST. Um, you can look up to see how that would match with your current time zone, wherever you may be in this big, big world. Um, but yeah, um, future a pretty. I, I would assume with all the footage that I have gathered, a pretty longish or long video coming up pretty soon, either early June or the middle of June, and if not, um, I'll try late June, but we will see um, with what's what happens with my IRL schedule. But for now, um, you can look forward to the next um, Blooming Panic stream. Until then, and I will see if it's possible to do a gorilla stream on Saturday as well. But we will see once the weekend uh, comes around a little bit more. If not, um, I might do something uh, to finish off this game uh, next week. But I will let you. I will let you all know on uh, Twitter and on YouTube. Uh, community posts so please check on those I am most active on Twitter so if you want like instant like basically instantaneous like updates and stuff and just random um, just postings about musings or books media or just stuff going on IRL um, Twitter is the best place but I would also do I will always do cross-posting on YouTube announcements as well, so don't worry if YouTube is where you mostly check me out on. So, yeah. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope my commentary and my presentation was a little bit better this time around. I did a lot of changes with like my assets and backgrounds and whatnot, and I hope it's a little bit more... Uh, better on the eyes, more visually, aesthetically pleasing, etc, etc. I'm pretty proud of what I have now for my setup. So please let me know what you think. Uh, what you think about this playthrough, my commentary, my uh, current setup, and whatnot. And just what you think of this game. I'm a booming panic. If you made it to the end here. So please share your thoughts in the comments if you'd like. Um... Everything you might need to know about the game or my socials and um, all the assets and stuff I've credited and listed below in my description. Um, if you would like 
um, you can help with um, purchasing a book through my bookshop link. If you do, I will be able to uh, I'll be able to get a 10% commission from each book you may purchase from my profile on, and the lists that I've created. So, if so, I would really appreciate that. But if not, that's okay too. Just um, I just really appreciate if you take the time to watch watch me play this really fun, um, incredibly realistic portrayals of like online fandom, fanon communities in a Discord server, which I really appreciate. Um, very fun. Very sweet. Um, there'll be more <laughs> on Friday. I'm gonna try to go for Night Owl, but I will see if I can maybe try to get, um, what's his name? Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> XYX. Anyway, I think I've rambled enough in this just chatting section. I... Yeah. Thank you again. Um, IDU Unit, Yuriko Forsyth, signing off. Bye-bye! How could I? How could I forget? I'm sorry. And I hope everybody has a lovely rest of your day. See you.